In this video, we are going to cover the topic data warehouse architecture. So, how the data warehouse will be formed from the source system. So, uh, in terms of architecture wise. So, these are the topics we are going to talk about in this video. So, data warehouse architecture and uh, oh, what is the use of uh, data mart and what is the necessary of having staging database or staging area so let's start with the data warehouse architecture so here you can see uh, there are different source systems so source 1, source 2, databases are there so intermediate is right. the staging will be staging database will be uh, formed from source the data will be moved into staging from staging the data will be moved into data warehouse that is the final one how the data will movement happens is a, with the use of ETL tool ETL load will happen at the same time from staging to data warehouse also ETL load uh, use of uh, using the ETL tools so the data load would happen and what the final um, uh, usage of data or data will be shared to a uh, reporting or analysis tool so here what is the um, where does the data mat comes so here the, what we discussed um, a, as part of data is uh, from source 1 and source 2 the data will be moved to staging using ETL tool from staging to data warehouse, data will be moved to data warehouse. So here you can see on top of the data warehouse, data mart will be built. So the data mart uh, one will be used for certain kind of um, reports. Data mart two will be formed on top of the data warehouse, and it will be for uh, uh, specific reporting purposes. So why the data mart is required now? So it's, it, let's take on a, a realistic data. Uh, here you can see saving account is there, credit account database and loan account database. A bank is having three types of accounts and maintaining three types of database, at a individual database for each account type. So in case of data warehouse, right, so we need to have integrated data for analysis purpose. So where the manager or managing director wants to see the data of particular customer um, with saving data, credit card data and loan information. So that case, right, so we need to have um, uh, all the data in a single repository, so, so single database. So that that time right so uh, both um, from all three databases data will be moved into staging and from staging to uh, data virus movement happens so on top of that um, uh, two database uh, will be built so that is one is for credit account one is for loan account these two are called uh, data mart so what is what is the um, uh, use right so we just try to understand with the realistic scenario so now loan manager is there um, so a uh, taken case we don't have any uh, data mart we don't have this um, uh, entire section itself so now we have only the, the data warehouse in that case right so loan manager will access the uh, data warehouse to see the loan information at the same time uh, saving manager also will uh, find the data warehouse and uh, for the data getting the data credit manager also will do the same thing so what would happen so say if three uh, type of managers accessing at the same time uh, data warehouse uh, database the performance will be slowed down at this at the same time so we need to have the security purposes so loan manager need not to um, uh, see the data of credit card information the saving account information also so that case race we need to have um, uh, good performance we need to have the data security also in that case right so what we what that time so what we have to do so we need to um, create separate uh, dedicated database on top of the data warehouse 
for saving account, loan account and the credit card accounts. So that case, right, so loan manager can access um, a loan data and the saving manager access the saving in saving database and claim manager same. So who do I need now? So what is the use? So this is for the uh, integrated data report analysis. So for example, some um, managing director right so it wants to see all type of data so for example to three years of information for the um uh, particular area or particular uh, uh, customer in that case right so it needs to be uh, utilized so the main purpose of uh, data mart would be security so loan account as we discussed that loan account manager does not require to check um, uh, saving account detail or credit account detail so the security needs to be maintained and at the same time performance if everybody um, accessing the data versus database uh, definitely it will end up in the poor performance so it avoid to avoid as so, a um, uh, based on business line um, in dedicated database will be built on top of data warehouse database so that is called the data mart in this case right so uh, just think about it why do you need staging database so without staging also it, yes it's possible we can move the data from uh, uh, three sources to uh, directly to data warehouse right? it's, it's possible so what is the necessity of having it so why can't we move the directly so uh, that case right so there are um, uh, reasons um, why we are keeping staging database so if we, what would happen so if we move the uh, uh, all source data directly into data warehouse so how we will be moving by using the ETL um, job so the job right so the complexity of the job will be more if we move the data directly from source to data warehouse without intermediate database if we move it will be very complex so the maintenance of the uh, job will be more at the same time so if something right something happens last if we lose any data in data warehouse or in source system so that case right we can use um, staging as a backup so as part of the uh, day-to-day day-to-day um, uh, day transactions load into data warehouse <laughs> database is used as a pointing table where it keeps historical data if something goes wrong in data warehouse uh, we can reload the data from the staging number so, but at the case at the same time we can't keep all the uh, historical data in the source database so these, these are the reasons um, at the same time, so we can do manipulations inside the um, uh, staging database itself. So, so, but we can't do those things in the transactional. So, it points to the live application. So, as part of the main concept, um, the, to perform the data cleaning process, that is data cleansing. So, where we can do the um, uh, removing the error record or removing the uh, duplicate record removing the redundancy removing the unnecessary records removing the irrelevant or uh, um, clearing cleaning of uh, null records cleaning of uh, other uh, type of error records so that those things we can do it in the staging data so without disturbing the source database and the, the, as I explained, so we can use it for a reload purpose when something goes wrong in data warehouse. Uh, we can't um, uh, keep, we can't guarantee that as a source database would contain um, um, historical data. So, the, but staging database can store the historical data. So, uh, with the use of pointing table, so we can reload the uh, data. That's all about it. So the uh, main architecture, right? So uh, data warehouse architecture is very as simple as source from source will move the data to staging, from staging to data warehouse. On top of that, for each business line, data mart will be built. The main reason why we are going for data mart is one is security, one, another one is performance. So along with that. 
why do we need a data dataverse so the data staging data staging database so why we are going for uh, why we are uh, using the staging database is something with different multiple reasons reducing the complexity we can use it as a backup table we can do the calculations we can do the cleanup activity that's all about it